Hello friends, I am back with another video tutorial for slide hunt on C++ programming. In this tutorial, I am gonna show you how to make a simple calculator in C++. Using calculator, we can perform different types of operations. But the basic operations that we do in a calculator are addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Here I am going to ask you sir what operation they want to do. See out what operation do you want to do and then end line to show the options that we have available I am going to write here see out press 1 for addition and then end of line Similarly, we write press 2 for subtraction. So, I am going to copy it and paste here and write here 2 and here subtraction. Then press 3 for multiplication. Write here 3 and here multiplication. and then press 4 for division right here 4 and here division let's check how it looks build and run you can see here first our program ask you what operation do you want to do then it show you 4 options and you need to choose one of them ok let's back to the program Next, we need to read the user choice and store it to a variable. So, I am going to create an integer type variable int choice. To read the user choice, I am going to write here scene choice. The next thing is when we perform an operation, we need at least two numbers and here we take the number from user so I am going to write at see out please enter a number and then end of line to store the number we need a variable so I am going to declare here num1 to store the second number we need another variable so I'm going to declare here num2 and to store the result of the operation we need another variable so I'm going to declare here result next we need to read the input number so I'm going to write here c in num1 similarly we read the second number so I'm going to copy it and paste here I am going to write here please enter another number and here I am going to write num2 the next thing is when many options are available to you and you need to choose one of them then it is better to you to use a switch statement so I am going to write here switch a pair of parentheses and then a pair of curly braces and inside the parenthesis I am going to write choice because when user enter his choice it stored to the variable choice and we need to compare it with the case constant of switch that's why we write here choice next we write the case constant in switch in case 1 we perform the addition operation so I am going to write here case 1 then the result equal to num1 plus num2 next we print the value of result to the screen so I am going to write here c out addition of two numbered is and here we refer result and then end of line 
next we have to write the break statement so I'm going to write here break in case 2 we perform the subtraction operation so I'm going to copy it and paste here I'm going to write here case 2 here give the minus sign for subtraction and here I'm going to write subtraction of two numbers In case 3, we perform the multiplication operation. Write here case 3. Give here the multiplication sign that is star. And I am going to write here multiplication of two numbers. And in case 4, we perform the division operation. I am going to write here case 4 give here the division sign that is slash and here I am going to write division of two number here one thing I must say when we divide a number by zero it is undefined and our program will give an error so first we need to check num2 is equal to zero or not so I am going to write here if num2 equal to equal to 0 if this condition is true then I am going to write here error see out error and then end of line then we have to write the break statement to come out of the loop and if this condition is false then it execute the else part so I'm going to write here else and we have to write this statement inside a curly braces I'm going to write here the starting braces and give here the closing braces and then write the default case default see out wrong input try again and then end of line let's check the output build and run as you can see here it asks you what operation do you want to do I want to perform subtraction so I'm going to press 2 please enter a number I'm going to enter 12 please enter another number I'm going to enter 7 subtraction of two number is 5 because 12 minus 7 is 5 the next thing is if we want to execute this program more than one time then what we do we need to write this statement inside a loop here we use a do while loop because we run this program at least one and then decide further we want to execute it or not so I'm going to write here do and then give here a starting braces and here closing braces and then write here while pair of parentheses and then semicolon here I am going to ask user they want to continue or not see out do you want to continue yes or no now we need to read the character that the user enter for that purpose we use here a function named get che the task of this function is to read a single character the instant it is type without waiting for a enter key to be hit here e in this function indicates it equals the character that you type to the screen and at the same time it returns the character that has been most recently typed we need to store the value to a variable that the function get che return so i am going to write here option equal to get che since get che return a character value so we need to declare option as a character type variable so I'm going to declare here care option
and then give here a end of line next I am going to write the condition that is option equal to equal to y if this condition is true means if user type y then the control go here and execute this loop again and if user type any other character except y then this condition is false and the control come out of this loop let's check the output build and run as you can see here it asks you what operation do you want to do I want to perform addition so I'm going to press 1 please enter a number I'm going to enter 23 please enter another number I'm going to enter 6 addition of two numbers is 29 because 23 plus 6 is 29 then it asks you do you want to continue yes or no if you want to continue then press Y then it asks you again what operation do you want to do this time I want to perform division so press 4 please enter a number I am going to enter 56 please enter another number I am going to enter 0 it print error because something by 0 is undefined that's why it gives an error then it asks you again do you want to continue yes or no I want to continue then press Y I want to perform division so press 4 please enter a number I am going to enter 25 please enter another number I am going to enter 5 division of two number is 5 because 25 divided by 5 is 5 then ask you again do you want to continue no so press N and the program is terminated that's it hope you understand if you have any doubt please comment on the video thank you for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe this channel slide hunt you can like my facebook page at www.facebook.com slash slide hunt and you can follow me on google plus at www.google.com slash plus slide hunt